welcome to the electrical and instrumentation engineering youtube channel in this channel we will learn all the electrical and instrumentation related contents in all the three languages english hindi and kannada please subscribe our channel to watch all the contents in all the three languages let's start the video now let's understand what is plc in the first part of the plc plc series first we will understand what is the plc the full form of plc is programmable logic controller so what it does the programmable logic controller is it's a industrial computer used for the process automation so it's a uh, we, we have called it is a industrial computer used for the process automation every process having input devices see here it is mentioned the plc receives information from connected input devices so this is a plc it receives information from connected plc devices and processes the data and gives output it means it will give output to some other in, uh, devices so that uh, using a pre programmed parameter but it means the pre programmed parameter it is having a inbuilt program language so using that program language it will allow to uh, give output data so for example the familiar program language used in the plc is a ladder logic we call it as a ladder logic so i will explain you about this ladder logic in the upcoming sessions let's we have understood that what is plc it's a industrial computer used for a process automation and it is connected with the input devices and give you output devices based on the programming done by you so the uh, familiar program is a ladder logic in this slide we have understood like this so in next in next slide let's understand the configuration of plc see is the configuration of plc so here i have highlight here i have highlighted the base plate so this is the base plate okay so this is the base plate base plate will see like this okay so let's understand this base plate is having eight channels 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so total eight channels of base plate have so what are the each channels we have for used for this in this base plate let's understand so this is called the base plate and uh, let's add components one by one uh, here i will add the component yeah now 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 see the power supply unit so here we have added the power supply unit so first in the first uh, first track of the base plate it is added with the power supply unit the power supply unit when we so give power supply to the uh, this unit this will energize and it will give power supply to all the racks all the seven racks it will give power supply and this power supply will extend into the uh, so some other components which is installed in this base rack for example uh, cpu digital inputs digital outputs communication card and everything so let's see the next slide so now the plc processor has been added so after the power supply unit now we have added the plc processor unit this is called the cpu heart of the plc so all the programming and everything is stored in this cpu so next after this one next we will add the plc communication module this is the communication module so what does this communication module means if you want to add the many uh, many in inputs and output devices so using this communication you can add many other racks many other racks you can add so using this rack only so you can add many other racks so that input output devices will be increased so this is the useful of wacom wacom plc communication model and next we will add the ethernet model so what is the purpose of ethernet model let's understand so you are here we have here here you are seeing the ethernet port using this ethernet port you can connect to the engineering pc and it is connected to the operating pc so that this plc can be accessed in this P, uh, engineering pc and operating pc you can access in um, this systems so this plc can be programmed and monitored and everything and process can be monitored through this communica communication module so after completion of this let's next start the input model so we have added the input model here so this in this input model this input model receives signal from the input devices the signal from the input devices will be received by this model from relay and fuses and the from field devices and after completing of this model let's add the digital output model so this is called a digital output model mean digital output model means this process this card will give output this card will give output to the relays and from relays the output to, uh, devices will energize so this is um, this is used for the digital output model means according to the program this will give output to the digital output models this is the digital output model after completing of this next let's see this is the analog input let's add analog input model 
So what is analog one? What is analog input model? Let's understand. See here, I have given the analog input model. This analog input model means the field having a some transmitters. The transmitter will give sub, uh, give signal to the this uh, analog input model. The signal in the, the the signal is in the form of four to twenty milliamps. So hence this is. Now we will see the analog output model. So it is connected to the last uh, last base that it is utilized in the last base right. It's analog output model. Mean the PLC will give four to twenty milliamps supply. To the analog input devices, such as it may give to indicators, or it may give to VFT. It may be used for a VFT or any other relating instrument. So that the analog output model, input output model, and analog output model is connected to PLC, and based on the programming, the output will be given by PLC. And let's compare. And then this is the configuration of the basic PLC model. Let's see the further one. So next we will add some Ethernet switch. After after understanding the power supply model, processor, communication model, Ethernet model, in digital input device, output, digital output model, digital output model, analog input model, and analog output model. Now understand the how the PLC is connected and accessed by engineering PC and operating PC. Now let's see. This is the Ethernet model which we have seen in the previous slide. So this Ethernet model is connected to the Ethernet switch. The port number eight. This switch is connected, and this is called this one is called a Ethernet switch. And from this Ethernet switch, we uh, we can connect it to the uh, engineering PC as well as op uh, operation PC. Let's see how engineering PC is connected. See here. The Ethernet model is connected to the uh, yeah, Ethernet switch, and from Ethernet switch, some one port is utilized. So, yeah, one port is utilized in this way to connect it to the engineering PC. So, in this PC, we have seen the program. This is a ladder logic program. So, through this program, we can configure the PLC input output devices, and we can program the input output devices. So, similarly, we can operate also the operating PC. Means the process can be accessed through operation PC, which is connected like this. See here, the process is connected from this port. We have utilized the process. The operating PC is connected through LAN cable to this operating PC. Here we are seeing the process. So process can be accessed. The field process can be accessed through PC, and the field programming can be accessed through this engineering PC. And this is called operating PC, and this is called the engineering PC. So this is this total entire configuration is called the PLC. This is I have showing a very basic PLC system. So for understanding purpose only, this is the the same PLC works for the further extended digital and digital input and digital output models. In my upcoming video, I will share everything. So let's understand. Let's see. The, uh, in my upcoming video, I will share you about the basic wiring diagram of the PLC circuit. It means the basic diagram may con uh, consist of a MCB and how power supply is derived and power supply is extended through MCB and through SMPS and from SMPS to power supply unit and from power supply unit to CPU, digital input model, digital output model, everything. Everything is consist in the PLC circuit, which is explained in my next upcoming video. If you are having any queries, please comment on the comment my comment box. If you like this. Video, please like and share. Uh, it will useful to some other students also and job seekers also. Please subscribe to my channel so that you are you will get notification in further my videos. Thank you for watching my video.